So if you're familiar with sparse virtual texturing, the idea is that you only load in chunks of textures that you can see on the screen at once. This looks like a bit of a mess, but the point is, if we look at this guy over here, uh, you can see that it just looks like a normal 3D object. It's got some textures going, but the reality is all of these textures are coming from a massive texture, which you can actually see in the background here on this plane. So if we zoom in, I mean, this texture is huge. I think it's like 65,000 by 65,000 pixels, something. Uh, if we look at the very bottom here, we can see some of it's actually being used. Um, and these are super, I mean, I think each one of these is like 2K or 4K or something. I mean, it's super freaking detailed. But the point is, it's done with virtual texturing. Um, so it only loads in the detail of the texture you need. And I wanted to see if I could do it in Unity. Uh, because, you know, why not? So what we can do is we can actually purge the buffer, but we can add debug information. So we add a little bit of every texture page we load, we just put a, a border around it and some values on it. And it just, it makes the pages more clearly to see. So the yellow ones are very low detail, low resolution. So you can see on the screen right now, it only has to load in very low detail pages. And as you get closer, it starts loading in more and more and more and more and, and still just filling the screen, right? Like more and more. And, and then the red level is the, uh, the maximum. Um, and the cool thing is, this is pretty constant. Like the amount of pages you have on screen is reasonably constant, no matter what you're looking at. So you can effectively have unlimited size textures. Um, so this is what, uh, you know, games like Doom, Eternal, and so on use with virtualized textures. These days, hardware supports it. Um, and at the time when I was implementing this, hardware had only briefly just begun supporting it, but it's still not exactly the same as this. But you know, it is a method. This is basically what inspired Unreal's Nanite. You know, it's Nanite is basically this, except for geometry, right? Um, which is really, really cool. <laughs> but still, this is a fun thing to implement. I think if you're a graphics programmer, you should at least implement this once just because it's really cool. Um, and not using the GPU, cheating with the, the new methods where you can just upload a big texture and the GPU automatically does this for you.